What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is going to be a pork tenderloin in my slow cooker. This is going to kind of be teriyaki inspired. We're going to be basically using all the ingredients that you would put in a teriyaki chicken, but I got a surprise ingredient. Anyway, come on in and take a look. The ingredients I'm going to be using in this recipe, we got our pork tenderloin. As you can see, I got that on sale. My surprise ingredient is going to be, we're going to be using a little bit of squirt soda, my favorite soda. We have some garlic, some jalapenos, not a lot, brown sugar, cornstarch we're going to be using at the end to kind of thicken it up. We have honey, soy sauce, we have some rice vinegar, and three cans, well I'm not sure if I'm going to use all three cans, but we have some pineapple tidbits and the juice of that. We're also going to be using some salt and pepper. So right now I'm using a Dutch oven. You can use a skillet, whatever, but I have it screeching hot. I have my tenderloin that I have coated with salt and pepper. And we are going to brown this on all sides. It should only take about five minutes to do that. So now I've kind of browned our pork on all sides. We're going to go ahead and throw that in our crock pot. Now what we're going to do is add our three cans the pineapple bits. And we're going to go with about a half a cup of honey. And I'm eyeballing it as with all crock pot recipes, just kind of eyeball it. Don't feel like you need to follow anything to the letter. So we got that. I'm going to go with about a half a cup of soy sauce. Actually, that's probably perfect right there. We're going to go with a quarter cup of brown sugar. This is three cloves of garlic minced. And the recipe will be in the description. And as far as ginger goes, I like a little bit more ginger. Uh, I'm going to go with one teaspoon of ginger. This is an optional ingredient. Another optional ingredient if you don't have it don't worry about it. Some rice vinegar. We're just going to go with a dash, a little over a dash of that. And my other optional ingredient are jalapenos. And my secret ingredient, boom, we're going to come back over it with our squirt And that's going to be about a cup and a half of squirt. Now, my crock pot or my slow cooker, one thing I can do, and I am going to mix this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that now. That's good enough. We'll stir it up, make sure it's stirred up a little bit better later. But my crock pot or my slow cooker, one thing I can do is dial in a temperature. On um, pork, you're going to want to have your pork cook between 145 and 155 degrees. So I'm going to put my slow cooker on 150 and I'm going to let it go for about four and a half, five hours. That should get us to a point where we're not overcooking our pork and it's going to uh, have enough time to let all that flavor kind of meld in. And I'm thinking about it now. Let's go ahead and just add about a half teaspoon of salt while we're at it. So this is going to go four and a half hours. We will pick it up when this is done. Okay, this has been about five hours, and I just checked the temp. We're at 158 degrees, so I'm fine with that. So what we're going to do is take our pork out. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit before I slice it. Uh, I've got about three and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm just going to add a little water to that. And we're going to shake this up. We're going to add this to our liquid here, and that's going to thicken it up, and that is going to create our little glaze. And I just poured about half of it in there for now. I'm going to wait to see how it thickens up, and then uh, if it needs a little bit more later, I'll go ahead and add more cornstarch to thicken this sauce up. So it's about the thickness of a light gravy, which is good with me. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And now we're just going to go ahead and slice up this tenderloin. 
and I'm just going to kind of cut them in about three quarters of an inch in thickness and now we're just going to plate it up, add some sauce, I might add some rice and some broccoli to this that I've cooked. We're looking like all plated up, I just paired that with some uh, rice and a little bit of broccoli. Uh, you know, let's taste this pork and see what's up. I did drizzle some of that sauce over the top of it. Let's all go. Right, so this is it, this is a done deal. This is something that was so simple to make. Like I said, throw it in a crock pot, leave, do what you got to do. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and taste this. I'm going to make sure I get some of them pineapple chunks up in here. Alright, so this is the first time I'm tasting it. I would add a little bit more soy sauce to this, but I ran out. But the concept is on point. Like I said, throw all this stuff in, leave, come back, done deal. Anyway, give it a try. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.